Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on Current Exiles. This is another quick video for you, just to look at, yeah, there's a little clue behind me, the dismantling bench. Uh, at the time of this video, a lot of people who've been playing for a long time now may already have this, but this is probably more beneficial to a new player who's not been along, or somebody who, maybe when we get into the Age of War, if this is when you're joining. Uh, at the time of this video, this will be out on Thursday the 22nd of June, hopefully. This may benefit you a bit more. Just want to take a look at the dismantling bench, which is on my right shoulder. Which is the regular bench that you can unlock in the game. But now, with one of the new journey steps, you can also unlock the improved dismantling bench. But, the question we're asking today is, is it worth completing the journey step for to unlock it? Let's get into it. Okay, so if you go onto your knowledge tab and you go across to your journey step section as you can see there I'm showing it now on the journey steps at the moment and at the bottom right hand side the prerequisite is to unlock the grinder so we've done that in our knowledge which if I just flip back across if I remember correctly if we go to here and it's already done it for me somewhere where is it there it is it may be a bit further along to the right on your list before you unlock it but once you've unlocked it it will appear there and you can find this in your journey steps and literally what we need to do is follow these little steps to unlock the bench so what we need to do is first step is to put bone into the grinder and then put plant fibre into the grinder so we'll do those first I actually have some on me so this is the grinder, we've placed this down you build this with your construction hammer so I pop some bone in And that should obviously complete for us. No, nope. why does that not complete? That is strange. <clears throat> Bear with me. Okay, so I've got it figured out. Unfortunately, because I was using the creative mode uh, for this video, just to hide a few things off the screen, that seems to be the reason why it wouldn't accept it. But I've just done it again with some more bone. Uh, in normal gameplay and it has actually accepted it this time so if we go back to our journey there we can see that so now we need to put plant fiber into the grinder but before we do that as you can see there putting bone in will give you bone meal which is handy for your compost heap so now it wants some plant fiber so we'll pop that in I did that super fast <laughs> and that gives us spice Okay, so now it wants us to move on to the fluid press, which again, you get this from your knowledge. Uh, I've already gone past it, yep, there we go. And what you want to do is go down to where all your cooking stuff is, and you'll see it down there. You unlock it in there, once again, and build it with your hammer. So it wants us to put human meat in the fluid press, so we've got some here. I'm going to pop that in. That's that one done. Now it wants us to put coal into the fluid press and by putting that human meat in there obviously that gives us blood. Pop the coal in there and what that will do is obviously if you're on a, a regular official server it will take a little longer to actually change over. For some reason that's not changing, that's supposed to change to oil I do believe. And even though I've put it in there, it has counted it. Right, unlock the dismantling bench, which we've done. So we have one there. Uh, right, bear with me. Okay, no we haven't. I thought I had done. My mistake, I left it so that I could show you. Uh, this again is under all your crafting stages and your tools, so you unlock it there. And then if we go back to our... What it, what it wants us to do, it wants us to dismantle an item. So what I've done is, is I've just got a simple iron pick. We're gonna pop that over in there. And as we can see, boom, done. As quick and simple as that. Uh, if I find it again, now where's it gone? Bear with me. I just accidentally pressing the wrong button. Uh, where's 
it on. As you can see, there's all these different journey steps that you can do. There we are. Yep, so we've now completed that. So we can claim our reward. And what this does is gives us this bench here, which, as you can see, the base part looks pretty much the same as the regular. Only difference is you've got like this grind wheel attached to the side, and then like a bench, I suppose you'd call it, going down the side with a couple of little boxes on it. Um, what looks like some steel possibly bars in there that have been dismantled but the question I want to cover in this video is is the time of unlocking this journey step is it worth it compared to this one definitely definitely is is your answer that I would give especially if you can do this as soon as you can um, it's just going to benefit you so much more with the resource that you get back as you can see there from those iron bars we got the five there that you can see that was from an iron one so what we're going to do to test this out i do have things slightly increased on this server because this is my server that i play on that is a playstation server that anyone is uh, more than welcome to join if they wish to do we just have some rules at the welcome center that we do ask people when you spawn in just to come down here to the welcome centre, get yourself some starter equipment and obviously please read the rules, it just helps us out to uh, monitor the server a lot easier, I'll give the details at the end of this video but yeah, if we put a star metal pick, for example, so if you're at end game, pop a star metal pick in that one and as you can see there, we got one piece of shape wood back and we got five star metal bars if we go over to our improved bench and we do the same thing again and we pop it in there this time we got two pieces of shape wood back and we got 12 star metal bars so instead of one piece of shape wood and only five of the star metal bars we didn't just get double we got double which would be 10 plus two extra so we got an extra seven essentially so right there no matter what it is whatever you're dismantling rather than keeping this regular bench in your base and dismantling stuff yeah you're going to get your resources back and it's going to help you but personally for that first little bit of a simple journey step of a couple of things in a grinder a couple of things in a fluid press unlock this dismantle an item and boom you've unlocked this the, the proof is in the pudding as the saying goes you can see there you're going to get so much more back with your improved bench especially if you're dismantling uh, sort of end game armor that you may have been using that's no good anymore you'll get more of your resource back from it by using this one compared to your regular dismantling bench so i do highly highly recommend doing that little journey step and getting the improved dismantling bench unlocked as soon as you can Alright then guys, well that is just about going to cover it for this one, like I say, another quick simple one, just a bit of a another tips and tricks video I suppose, just especially for new players, veteran players who still play may have not even bothered with this bench either because they just don't think it's worth it, but as you can see, I'm sure you'll agree it's definitely worth it. So if you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up, it just helps YouTube with the old algorithm to recommend this video to more people, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Welcome to anybody who's new, thank you to anybody who's subscribed in the past, great to have you with us, we're a growing community, doing pretty well, and um, we want to try and keep on going for that ultimate goal of the 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours to make this, make this worthwhile, because let's face it, the more you enjoy the content, the more I'm going to keep bringing you, and it just means the more I see that you're enjoying, the more I get enjoyment out of creating the content that I do. Alright then guys, that's it from me, I say details for the server coming up and until I see you in the next one I shall say goodbye, bye bye for now.